amazing through the whole weekend? I definitely had a lot of concerns coming in. I, yeah, I had some friends that, um, you know, do some of the road race stuff, um, you know, and I guess they'd come out here and run and just said how, how bad it was coming apart. And, um, so that was concerning, right? Because our cars are way heavier than most of those other series. <laughs> but I didn't see anything visually on the track, so I'm sure they'll inspect it later. And or feel anything. I didn't speed. feel anything at all. So yeah. I was super concerned coming in, but honestly, after today, I feel a lot better about it. Several people have talked about turn 11 and kind of how that's different and, and being able to see out of it. Are you? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, it's fine. There's a ball there. And the tire, tire barriers there before, you know, so. Um, I don't really have any issues with it. You don't want to hit. You didn't want to hit the tire barriers. You also don't want to hit the wall. So you know, take a pick. You guys were over four seconds faster than your change lap from last year. Does it feel like that? It really doesn't. I mean, it, like the cadence of a lap is. I feel like you're rolling the center of the corners faster. You know, like seven. I think there's a lot more pace in seven. Uh, particularly out of seven through the center of 11 uh, through 10 and probably up the hill into one but all the slow stuff feels really similar to to the way it did before so um, but the cadence of the lap doesn't to me it doesn't feel any different um, I was uh, expecting it to feel different and I got to watching some in car of the tests and stuff and I was like man it just does not look that much different to me and um, got in the car and, and I, I felt the same way as kind of what I was thinking with that. Any tire fall off? There actually is, but it's heat related. It's obviously not wear related. Um, at least is the way it feels inside the car. So I definitely think you're going to be able to hurt it with heat. Does that give you the opportunity to maybe do a late two tire stop, you know, if things are playing like that? No, no. We'll talk about that. Why is that the case then? Because there's, you know, 30 really good cars. You're not going to pass them all back. So, do you have to plan at this point? Like, Coda ran without any real cautions, right? Just mm -hmm. stage wins. So the way this car drives, like, really not with any cautions. Do you guys strategize around assuming there's not going to be, or do you just have to think that you can There's tons of them. Yeah. Do you have to change your strategy for that? I don't know. I mean, it's so hard. I feel like... Um, here lately, it, it sometimes it's just about doing something different. Like, like there's there's races where things are going wrong, and you know somebody will pull down pit road and do something a little different. And while it might not look like the right thing to do on paper, it gets you into a different, um, just a different category than everyone else. And, and uh, a late race caution, you know, or something to throw a wrench in what everyone else was already doing. And next thing you know, somebody that kind of got off track was actually making the right play you know, it just might not have looked like it earlier and they just took a chance so i think you'll see more and more of that you know just because we're all so much the same you know in every other area so i mean gateway had all into that where yeah. cars that want that 25th place car is suddenly running for stage one years or something yeah no for sure and, and i think you're just going to keep seeing more and more of it you know right you know as time goes on and people you know leave one race team and they talk to their buddies down the street and you get little little hints of what's going on here and there and everybody starts you know putting the pieces of the puzzle together all these cars are already really close to begin with and then everyone living within you know 60 miles of each other you know people talk and uh you know eventually you know everybody's going to be even more similar than we already are is there any enjoyment or any more challenge going to a new track next week that you guys haven't raced at or at least in a cup car yeah well, I just, you know, I think what's exciting for me about it is uh, I remember going there, you know, in K&N and, you know, in Xfinity, and uh, I, for whatever reason, I remember fans particularly always talking about how bad they wanted a cup race, so I'm just excited that they, uh, you know, finally got a cup race. I feel like it's been a worthy facility for a long time, and um, whatever the reason may be or however long we go, I think it's good that they, they have done things right over the years and they got one and hopefully they make the most of it. Are there any other places that you would feel that way if NASCAR went to? Um, yeah, the fairgrounds. I 
That'd be a really good one. <laughs> I should have been able to predict that, shouldn't I? You should. <laughs> it does, uh, I'm sure, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, it looks kind of like Frankensteinish with those group strips like the Pocono used to have. I mean, is that going to be the race next week? People At Iowa? Fighting, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched a little bit of the NCAR from, okay. from the test. Kyle ran last week, I think. Um, but it was wider than I thought it was. It was wider than what was described to me, you know, originally. I thought it was just like literally the width of a car. Um, and I was like, man, this is just silly. Man. Why did we even repave it? But it looks like you could potentially at least have a second group, which I think would be better than one. Um, but I think anything outside of the, uh, you know, that bottom area you know, of, of fresh asphalt, I'd, I think it's too aged at this point. Steven Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.